Lovely to see you. Hello. I heard lots of screams coming out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Did you? She, um, I was surprised the last you heard interview, that. she asked us to, um, like, how to scream and stuff, and so she had us scream for her. That was really fun. Was I it a do competition? It <laughs> I think it no. always, no. I got, I got <laughs> oh my God. I'm kidding. Or are you? No. I got told different. we had very different types of screams, which is good. Yes. So who won? <laughs> No, no one. We all have Cheated. different screams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, enjoyed the film. It really is a home, quite a homecoming for yeah. Annabelle, right? Yes. What was it about this expansion of the Conjuring universe that most excited you? Um, getting to dive into the artifact room and seeing all of the ghosties and, you know, yeah. <laughs> and how there's a lot of comedy in it as well. Yeah, I, lo I loved the hor the humor aspect that they kind of added into this film. I thought it was really special. Also, like, getting to work with these two and, like, being in the Annabelle films with the Warrens was yeah. extra special. <coughs> yeah. yeah, that was super cool. The Warrens being in it was uh, really, like, you know, such an honor to work with them. They're phenomenal. Um, as well as, I think, the artifact room was super cool, too, because I feel like everyone's always wanted to know what lurks inside. Yeah. And this movie gives you that. Well, it is kind of a, a hall of fame of horror, isn't it? Yeah. That, that yeah. room. Um, amongst the demons in the Conjuring universe, which do you find the most frightening or compelling? I mean, other than Annabelle, yeah, because Annabelle kind of takes the prize for me. Um, yeah, <laughs> but uh, I don't know who else would you say other than it's so hard because dolls were my biggest fear. I'm yeah. like, I can't. Um, I, I think. The actual yeah, demon. The, the, the demon. demon. Yeah, the actual demon. Mr. It's Alex. <laughs> the way he moves is just... Uh, um, the detail, it's creepy. The bride. The creepy... The bride is terrifying. The fairy man. Mm -hmm. She just moves so slowly and it's so eerie. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so Annabelle takes the cake. But yes. So what is it about Annabelle that makes her so frightening? The fact that she's... Annabelle. A real thing, too, <laughs> yeah. you know? She's, it's not some fictional um, character. Like, there's a real Annabelle. I think that's super terrifying. Yeah. Um, and that there's a demon attached to the yeah. doll. It's kind of a little freaky, yeah. I'd just, say. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. Yeah. <laughs> Those screams really woke us up, man. I know. I'm so ready. I'm like, I'm ready to do it again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, McKenna, obviously you're taking over a character that existed already. What was your approach? Did you want to mirror the previous performances or give it your own twist? Or? Both, um, because I felt like I, I, I felt responsibility. Like I didn't want to um, mess up or um, represent Judy Warren wrong, or I wanted to live up to you know like the expectations because these movies have everybody is waiting for it. Everybody's excited about it. I'm very excited about it myself. <laughs> but um, I wanted to do as good as the last. <laughs> right. And how did you go about that? Um, well, I, of course, rewatched the other movies with my dad. And um, I got to talk to the real Judy Warren, which was like. <laughs> that was, it was just crazy. Can't believe I got to meet her. <laughs> Um, have you ever had a toy or a doll that really creeped you out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I had a doll that had red hair and braids and pigtails and was terrifying. She was the leader of the rest of my cabinet of porcelain dolls that my mom would not let me get rid of. So, yes, absolutely. This was kind of, I felt, payback for all the years of being terrorized by dolls. Yeah, but porcelain gives it that edge, right? <laughs> it mm -hmm. does. They're so I don't real. Know what it is? I guess it's just they feel so old and delicate and their antique. eyes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, Katie, obviously your character has a kind of a selfish motive in being so nosy and snoopy and. <laughs> yes, it is a selfish motive, but it also comes from a place, you know, a good place. I think. Um, Go on. What, you, you, wait. No, I just wanted to explain the, the motive. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she's very interested <clears throat> in the supernatural because she's lost someone very close to her. I think that that kind of sparked everything. Um, and she asks all the questions that, you know, I think everyone asks on a daily basis is, are these things real? Is there proof? Um, so that curiosity kind of sparks everything. And... Uh, 
Yeah, she's mischievous. She she lets that doll out. Oh. Oops. <laughs>